Donna. I'm here with a thousand of our closest friends at Schubert Alley and up on the stage, the stars of many Broadway shows. We've got people from Hamilton and the band's visit and they have dogs and cats that are available for adoption. Broadway has clearly gone to the dogs and a few gorgeous cats as well. It's the 20th annual Broadway Barks, matching New York shelter dogs and cats with families. Over 2,000 animals have been placed in homes over the past 20 years. Here, look at Simmy, a three-year-old English bulldog from Long Island Bulldog Rescue, taking an ice cube bath while he waits for a family to adopt him. We do check references. We want to ensure that someone has a good track record with their past animals, that they um, you know, kept them up to date in wellness care, that they um, were matching them with a, the proper animal for their um, home situation. These three girls are eagerly awaiting homes from the SPCA of Westchester. Lizzie and Meg are three-month-old golden retriever yellow lab mixes. And then there is Annie, a terrier mix, and good old George, a pit bull lab mix who's about 10 years old. And there are success stories as well from previous years, like Karen Freeward, who fell in love with this Maine Coon Norwegian forest mix named Mango. He was adopted here last year, um, Broadway Barks 2017 from Lindisfarne Cat Assistance. He is a professional model. He walks the catwalk with his friend Marley here. Hi. And he raises a lot of money for charity, and he is just. The best. This year's second annual Mary Tyler Moore Award goes to Bark Shelter of Williamsburg, who's been placing thousands of shelter cats and dogs for 30 years. 30 years ago, the animal movement, it wasn't what it is today. There wasn't as much uh, awareness about overpopulation and, and, and breeding, overbreeding and spaying and neutering. So we were there in the tough times and, you know, seen it through to better days. If you want her to have a dog brother or sister, then you're going to have to come to Bidewee and meet her first. She decides on her terms who she's going to live with. If you'd like to give a home to, you can get in touch with their shelter and make an application.